Hello everyone, let me show you how current Muslims are worshipping Akbar, the devil, the great Satan, without even realizing it. Let me show you how Satan has deceived them and then you're going to see that for yourself. So what you are seeing is, is called Avon. This is the call to prayers, call to Salah per se, in every Muslim country. If you go to any Muslim country, you're going to hear this in the mornings, at noon, in the evening, in the afternoon, at night, at least five times per day, you're going to see this Adhan or call to prayer across all the cities, villages, everywhere you go. So you're going to hear this. Let's look at it. Let's look at the first line of it. What does it say? It says, Allahu Akbar. Remember, you have to say it. this is one time, this is two time, and then you have to multiply it by two. So for four times, when they want to call to Salah, they repeat this chant. They say Allahu Akbar. Now look at the translation. It says Allah is the greatest. Now this is lie. This is a lie. This is this is falsehood. There is no D here, first of all. And so this not, doesn't mean Allah is the greatest. It means Allah is greatest. So greatest Akbar here, as I've mentioned, I'm not going to go over it. You can watch the other videos. Is a name. If it meant Allah is the greatest, this Akbar would have been as Al-Akbar. This would have been as Al-Akbar. But you don't have that. So what is the Akbar here? Akbar here is a noun. In Arabic, we say it's an Esm. It's an esm, it's a noun. So Akbar is the name of an entity. It's a name of an individual, a name of a person, name of an entity, whatever that entity is. So what does that mean? It means Akbar is the God. So this is the meaning. Akbar is the God. What does Akbar mean? The meaning of Akbar is greatest or biggest or hugest, most senior. So remember about Allah, you know, in the Bible and in the Quran, what does it say? There is nothing like him. If there is nothing like you, it means nothing can be bigger than you, smaller than you, greater than you, less great than you. It's just there is nothing to compare with you. You can't be compared to anyone or anything at all. That's what it means. Laisa kamithlehi shai. I have several videos on this topic. I'll put the links down there in the description. You can see that. Now, Allah means Al Elah. Al Alef Lam plus Elah. Al Elah, you combine it together. What you cannot say Al Elah. So you say Allah. So that's what Al Elah means the God. So Akbar is. Allah, it means Akbar is the God. So that's what it means. This, this phrase is nowhere in the Quran, nowhere in the Bible, nowhere. This is, this is an invention that happened during the Umayyad dynasty. This is, a, this is a new God that they started worshipping instead of the creator of the heavens and the earth. Again, you go down there. Again, you have Allahu Akbar again, the chant again one more time. Here it's only one time that Akbar is the God. So what does this chant say? Akbar is the God. So they are worshipping, they are calling to prayer. What is the call to prayer? To who? To Akbar. So the whole thing is that call, come, stand for the Salah, say prayers to Akbar. So that's, that's the call to prayer. Let's look at the prayer together. Okay, this is how they stand for the Salah. So step one, they stand up, they raise their hand, and what do they say? Allahu Akbar. It means Akbar is the God, right? And we mentioned that Allah means Al Allah means the God. So they're standing for the Salah for who? For Akbar. So at the beginning of the Salah, the reference everything is Akbar. So Akbar is Allah. So when they're talking about Allah, the rest of the Salah, that Allah is referring to Akbar. Why? Because at the beginning of their Salah and during the call to the Salah, to the prayer, they're calling to worship Akbar and they're referencing, they're making clear. It is Akbar who is Allah. 
they worship Akbar. So everything that comes afterwards is in reference to that. So in step two, when they say Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, they, they are basically saying Alhamdulillah Akbar Rabbil Alameen. So this is talking about Akbar. They're saying all oh, praise be to Akbar, Lord of the world. So Ar Rahman Ar Rahim, they are talking about Akbar. When it says the gracious, the most gracious, the most merciful. So all of these conversation, all this verse is referring to who? Is referring to Akbar instead of Allah, our creator of the heavens and the earth. In a step three, they stand up again and they'd say what? Again, the same thing that Akbar is the God. And then a step four, again, they're re remember, there is... It's the same reference. It says, Subhana Rabbi al -Azim. So who is this Rab? Again, the same way. This Rab is Akbar. It's the reference. Everything is a reference to who? That Akbar is the God. Akbar is Allah. So if Akbar is Allah, it means their Rab. Their Lord is Akbar that they are worshipping. Then a step six, they stand up. They say these things and again, what do they say? Akbar is Allah. Akbar is the God. And that's the, that's the same thing that's going all over the Salah. Step 6, Akbar is Allah. Step 7, again, Akbar is Allah. And so on and so forth. So the entire Salah is a praise. It's a glorification of Akbar, the devil. That's why the devil has increased the number of units that they perform for the Salah and also the times that they perform the Salah. Because the devil wants them to worship him more and more. Of course he does. It has put a lot of burden on their shoulder so that they keep worshipping the devil. They're worshipping the Akbar. This is another thing. This is they call Tasbihat al arbae They basically say Subhanallah. Subhanallah means all glory be to Allah and praise belongs to Allah. And there is no God but Allah. But at the end of it, and Akbar is Allah. Akbar is the God. Allahu Akbar again. The same thing. Akbar is Allah. Akbar is the God. So everything that they are saying up here, one. Two, three is referenced to Akbar. So they're saying that, yes, we are saying subhanallah, glory be to Allah. But who is Allah? Akbar. We are saying alhamdulillah, praise be to Allah. But who is Allah? Akbar. We are saying that la ilaha illallah, there is no God but Allah. But who is Allah? Akbar. So basically they're saying glory be to Akbar, praise be to Akbar. And there is no God but Akbar. And then there's another famous uh, dhikr. They call it the zikr that they do after every prayers. I remember as a child, I was taught that this was the most important thing. that I, I actually I used to sit there and do it and I was a kid. I didn't know up until Allah woke me up. Up until Allah, the Yahuwah, our creator, taught me the truth. And I'm trying to teach that to the other Muslim brothers and sisters around the world so that you can wake up and worship our creator alone and alone so that you can abandon worshiping the devil Akbar, your enemy. You can, own, you can purify your religion for our creator and worship him alone and alone like Abraham did. So look at this. 30... Three times they say subhanallah. What does that mean? It means glory be to Allah. 33 times. Isn't that interesting? You know what 33 is? Number 33 is 33 degree Freemason. It's a famous Illuminati satanic number across the world. You can Google it yourself. And how interesting is it? How ironic is it that it, this number found its way in the way that they are praising but then they say it another 33 times, Alhamdulillah, which means praise be to Allah. But then another 33 times, what they say, Allahu Akbar. What does that mean? 
Akbar. Al Akbar is Allah or Akbar is the God. So all of this that they said above, it's for Akbar. Because who is Allah? Allah for them is Akbar. So they are saying glory be to Akbar, praise be to Akbar. Obviously Akbar is Allah. And you know, you see what it says. It says the prophet said that his sins will be forgiven even if they are like the foam of the sea. So basically if you do this, it's another nonsense here say so like you would they, somebody would say this and attribute this to the prophet Muhammad and Muawiyah would give them like a gold coin for this. So basically all of you say this all your sins will be forgiven. And this is another way of saying it and again you see the same thing Akbar is the god or Akbar is Allah. Remember, this is a deception. This has nothing to do with this. This there does not exist. If that existed, this would have been Al Akbar. So that has nothing to do with this. I just want to make sure that you know this is a deception that they tell you that oh, it's the God is the greatest. No, that's how they have deceived you. That doesn't. That's not what it means. There is no Aleph Lam here. So let me erase it for you. So this does not exist. This, there is no dead. This Allah is greatest. Greatest is a name. It's just a name. Akbar is a name. All Middle Eastern na names have a meaning. So Akbar is a name and has a meaning. His name means, and its meaning is greatest, biggest, hugest, most senior. And this name has never, never been used for our creator in the Quran. Has never been. This is a man-made name. Because it's not his name. It's the name of the devil. It's the biggest devil. Hugest devil, most senior devil, most senior demon in the world. That's what it is. Again, 34 times of this and then 33, 33 degree Masonic degree. But remember, what is the reference? The reference is who is Allah that we are talking about? Akbar. So when they are saying Alhamdulillah, they are saying they, 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 they are technically saying all praise to Akbar. And they subhan Allah, they are saying all oh, glory to Akbar. Again, how many times? 33 times out of all those numbers. Why not 32 times? Why not 37 times? 33 times. And I, so wake up and worship our God. Worship Allah, the creator of the heavens and the earth. And do not associate anything or anyone. Do not say this kalimatul kuf. This word of disbelief, do not use this Allahu Akbar. This is the word of Satan. This is word of devil. That's why whenever they kill someone, they explode a bomb, they do something dangerous, they do any act of terrorism. What do they say? Right after they're chanting Allahu Akbar. What does that mean? Is Akbar is Allah. Yes, there, it has nothing to do with our God. It has nothing to do with Yahweh. This is the act of Akbar, the devil, the great Satan. That's why you see when they behead someone, they're chanting Allahu Akbar. I understand their God is Akbar, the devil, who is causing them to, to terrorize people around the world, to do act of terrorism, to kill people, their wives, their families, to explode people. And they're so proud. They behead people, they cut hands, and they chant these things. That has nothing to do with the creator of the heavens and the earth. Peace and blessings to all the true believers.